In my time on TCM, I've that? seen numerous Leatherface players use high damage and incredible builds, yet still struggle to catch victims. So I took the only reasonable and sensible option, which was to remove all of my perks and place all my attributes into blood harvesting. Yeah, I hit that reset button. Of course, I didn't remove the stalling resistance or the instant activation because I wanted to maintain at least some sanity. I'm not a complete psycho. The purpose of this video is to show why Leatherface is an S tier character, as no other family member can do the high amounts of damage nor move as quick as Leatherface can. Yeah, uh, nobody else. Yeah. I put all my points into blood harvesting, but I actually had no intention of feeding grandpa. So basically, we're just playing a stripped down raw version of Leatherface. And hopefully, these games will show you how important it is to understand each map layout and the momentum of the match. It goes to show that there's more to the game than just high damage. <clears throat> unless, uh, unless you're a sissy. Anyway, that's all from me. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the No Perk Leatherface gameplay. Let's go, we're playing Leatherface, and we're going to be using No Perks because he's the strongest family member. He doesn't... <laughs> I I forget how sh quickly he revs that chainsaw. It's been such a long time since I played this man. Boom. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can escape. Let's escape? Play too much victims. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually win this. Get out, baby. Get out of the basement. Get the victims out of the basement through death. <laughs> I should have actually unlocked that, um, broken that door, but it's okay. We'll break this as well. I don't usually go around breaking everything, but like making an entire route is a very smart idea. It's, it's a smart choice. It really is. Oh my God, corn dog. I'm just going to do a simple melee attack there, I think. I, if, she's, if she doesn't know what she's doing in this area, she could be done here. Yeah, she knows what she's doing in the area. That's smart. Okay, not going to dedicate time to her. Leland's over here. Yeah, yeah, Nice try. We're not going to dedicate... These guys know what they're doing. So... That's a bit... Oh! <laughs> we have zero savagery. Let's do oh, this. She disconnected immediately. She got so cocky that she... I wasn't going to hear that. I just... <laughs> We have zero savagery. We just murdered that girl. Absolutely rinsed her. Oh, my God. By the way, Leatherface going upstairs early in this basement, like in Family House, is brutal for the victims. They will never escape because you can destroy all the doors very, very early on in the game. Okay, we we hear someone over there. That's not opened. Let's have a little look then. Let's have another little look roundies. Is anyone in here? Mm, no. Okay, someone's going to look gory. All right, then. All right, I, I feel it. And someone's going to have that room. Okay, there's only two doors that are open then. We know that. And I mean, side tunnel might, side tunnel might. But it's okay. We're not going to stay downstairs anymore. We're going to go upstairs and prep the upstairs. This is... Oh, my God. This guy's dead, I think. Wait. He, I hate that when the interaction does that. It's so crazy. One, one hit like here and another. Nice. Yeah, I hate it. Whenever they seem to interact, sometimes the uh, overhead would actually go through. It's really ridiculous. Oh, it can be ridiculous. Right, let's destroy these doors. Leatherface can be handy in so many different ways. And the reason why he's very, very strong is because he can destroy and set up these areas so well. Like, look at this. If, you, if, you don't, if you're not confident in the basement, you can always just... Wait, is someone going outside? Oh, wow, that was, that was a terrible... If someone leaves that door open, I can easily get out here. Yeah, yeah. I I yeah, there you go. Old. There you go, baby. <laughs> All right, she's not run out this direction. I don't think. We'll check this bush really quickly. Yep, she wouldn't have made it there. Another person just jumped out, I think. I just heard the... Yeah, I heard the grass. Okay. And there you go. That's it, baby. <laughs> it's wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. That is insane. Oh, no perks. No savagery. No excuses. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. I don't know who jumped out the window. I don't think... I don't think she made it out the first time. Wait, did she? <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, he got door slammed. Wait a minute. What are they doing? Oh. <laughs> it's just insane. You don't need savagery. You just don't. You don't need any perks. This character is the strongest. Like, it's rare that I'll, I'll get under a 3k per game with this character. It just feels ridiculously strong. I'm, all I'm using is... Oh, Julie's upstairs. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go get Julie then, baby. Where could she possibly be upstairs? Oh, through there. Okay. Or the, through the cook side. Wait, is she going back through? I'll pretend I ran off so she can't hear me. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm confused then. She must have run through this little gap here. Unless the cook is fighting her, maybe. I'll destroy this bad boy so the cook can uh, traverse through here. Again, the Leatherface is not only good for this, the damage, he's also incredible for destroying things like crawl gaps, etc. And uh, barricades, so other people can uh, benefit from running through these gaps and through these areas. Wow, does he actually found her? Sometimes they'll crouch behind this door, which is... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't need any damage, man. I'm convinced you don't need any damage. GG's. GG's. Look at the man, the myth. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Great game. Let's go. Let's pump up the shoulders a bit. Oh, I'm getting really hot in this room, man. Christ. Let's go, lever boy. We're playing on gas station this time. Let's, let's do it. We're playing on, uh, yeah, we're playing on old gas station. We're going to see how quickly we can murder people. I always go the same route, if you've noticed. I always go this route here because people will um, be in this room. Yeah. And they go through this cool gap and then you can catch them off the other side. Okay, she's going to go through. I'm going to rev up ahead, of, ahead of her here. And then bam! Like that, and she's dead. Watch, watch. We rev a little bit, and then we attack again, and she's done. Let's go. <laughs> this character is so ridiculous. Danny has to heal. Connie's dead. <laughs> Gas station is the easiest place to play Leatherface. He is so, so good at destroying people on this map. And I bet you I know where Danny's from. All right, victim noise has been created. Victim died, you mean. And there he is. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, you don't need savagery on this. This character, how is this character not, not balanced? How was he not? <laughs> how would they not balance this character yet? Oh, they probably tried to. Actually, you know they buffed him recently. I don't know why they're saying they tried to. Right, let's go through here real quick. Oh, we saw that at the uh, the main bit. We'll destroy these. So if Johnny wants to come down, he can go through here. I do very much enjoy destroying these barricades now because yeah, yeah. Let's see. He wants to get through, baby. He wants to get through. But I always destroy these barricades now. It's quicker. Because Johnny can at least patrol better. Ironically, I don't think anyone's actually escaped the basement yet. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone has escaped. Maybe someone has escaped the basement. We don't know. Right, anyway, I'm going to stay down here. Oh, wow. Sonny's getting loads of points. We'll destroy all the barricades. So if um, they get the fuse done, at least that way, they can... Wait, someone else is dying. Yeah, someone else is dead. Nice one. And then we just got one person left. Look how quick these games are, man. They're just, they're so snappy. If you know what you're doing as Leatherface, you just, you just rinse people. Now that I know, when you have a Johnny or a Hitchy, you need to really destroy those barricades. Because if you don't, um, they may come downstairs and it'll just be a fat waste of time for him. So, right, let's go, let's go. Where did, where did Sunny at? He's probably escaped, to be fair. Out of, a, out of an area. Unless he's trying to undo it with the basement gates, but I doubt it. He has to be really time savvy here. Hitchhiker, he's probably gone out of that area actually, because Hitchhiker just opened that gate, yeah. We'll go through this area too. I reckon he'll be through here, 100%. You always want to close the gate behind you because you can hear it when they, if they decide to leave through the same uh, uh, entrance or the, that particular direction rather. Has he undone this? Interesting, okay. Let's destroy this bad boy door. He could be in this area, but we won't know. Hey, we won't know until we check, that is. <laughs> Let's destroy this too, why not? If you need points, Leatherface is, or experience, Leatherface is definitely the go-to guy as well. He's just an all-around ridiculously strong character. Like, he's great for points. He's great for destroying barricades. He's, he's great for pretty much anything. Okay, so is he tracking? Is Johnny tracking? We don't know. We don't know. He's still at 125 points, one of 1,025. Always take your points. Points are probably the most important things to be keeping an eye on in the game. Right, let's go feed Grampy again. Why not? Why not? Trying to... Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god, he's, he's dead. Oh, I can only execute him. That's so sad. I wanted to carry him. <laughs> oh, GG's. Look at that. Hitchhiker's <laughs> getting close up, baby. Nice, GG's. That was a good Hitchhiker trap. Awesome. Awesome. Very quick game again. These games are so quick. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Leather Boy. Let's go, Carpet Face. That's his... <laughs> carpet Face. That's a stupid joke. All right, anyway, we're going to play Leather Face, and we're going to be using no perks again, because I don't really enjoy playing him without perks. He's just a very strong character. You don't even need perks. 
I always run this direction if you've noticed in my level face gameplays because you can catch people off this direction. I feel like the gas station, the last gas station we played, was far too quick. But there's always, why is it always a Danny that wants to get greedy in this area? And they always do this same thing. This is like a repeat of the last game, isn't it? <laughs> I just got door slammed. I'm not even going to bother Revan here. Yep, he's, he's dead. He's 100% dead here. I'm just gonna rev here and he's gonna he's gonna have to try and uh Yeah he's done, he's done. I'm not gonna overhead because if I miss that messes up. There you go, baby, look at that. It's always daddies that go for that. <laughs> but why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand why. I have no idea. But we'll go check the other gates now, let's go. No, don't slam it, don't slam it. To be honest, she's uh, she's uh, she's just trying to die here. She's probably just trying to die here. Oh backstab. Okay, she got a backstab. But the thing is, at what cost? She took so much damage there, she's going to have to waste... Um, she's going to have to waste the health bottles now. Is she in a particular area? Okay, that's good, that's good. We don't have scouts, so we might not be able to get her here. Oh my god, she ran in a very bad spot here. Oh, never mind, she's just a genius. That was double stab, double stab. Nope, she's just risking it. Okay, nice. Again, she's so such low health, she's going to have to try and... Uh, try and steeze it, I guess. I give up, that's it. Oh, she just disconnected, okay, yeah. I, I think she just, yeah, she just knew, I reckon. Nice. <laughs> Arn is definitely the most difficult to get because of your, your lack of damage. I don't know why she disconnected, to be honest. I wish I could tell you. Right, let's go ahead and destroy these bad boys. This is perfect if they, if they go for fuse plays because at least the, the family can get down here and reach the fuse exit if they want to. So it's always worth destroying these ones now, especially with the increased destroying speed. Right, let's go check the tool storage. No one's undone the tool storage. Okay, lovely, lovely. We like those stats. We like those. No one's undone this. Nice. We haven't even been to the South Tunnel yet, actually. Okay, okay. I, I sort of don't want to go to the South Tunnel. But that's probably where they've gotten out from. So what I'll do is I'll go in here, slam this bad boy. And then I'll lock it. And then we'll just patrol upstairs where I think the victims may be. Where's the fuse? Hmm, I wonder what the fuse is. We will lock this door, why not? I mean, uh, destroy this door, sorry. Destroying these doors in the, in the house just allows you to create that flow to continuously rev your chainsaw around. It's really, really good. And this is why he's still very strong. He's one of the strongest characters because is anyone else, you would have to latch it, run all the way around and then bash the door open. With Leatherface, you don't. You just do this. And these doors just completely hint unhinged. They've been removed off the latches. Of the, of the hinges. And there you go. Let's go. Boosh. <laughs> and also, the animation just looks awesome. So That's also a, a key reason why you should do it, why you should destroy those. So let's just check the bushes now. It's always worth checking these bushes. Wow, okay. The hitchhiker managed to swap someone um, crazy. Let's go ahead and destroy this bad boy. Leland might have got an hour. He's got an extra 200 points, and I don't know where from. He could be unlocking the downstairs bit, though, so. I'll tell you what, let's uh, feed Grampy Boy. <laughs> We've got max, like, almost max blood harvesting. So it's like, <laughs> we have no damage, but we actually just don't need it. These games go so quickly, so quickly. It's crazy. Where are you, Lila? Oh, wait, did I just see someone? Wait, he just ran straight. That leads to the well. He might be back in the basement, you know. Yeah, he's in the basement, 100%. I think Hitchhiker might have smacked him about and then got gone in the basement. I'll, I'll have a little look. I'll have a little look. Let me scan. I see him. Okay. He actually might be quite experienced at running away, but he can't really get anywhere. Oh my God, he's in a terrible position here. Hmm. If he stays in this area, someone's just going to come in and mess him up. Yeah. Come on, buddy. We'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. Well, I mean, a hitchhike is there. Yeah. So what's he going to do now? Uh, run to run to Papi. <laughs> I just knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, GG's, GG's. That's... <laughs> He was trying to do door wars, but I wasn't having any of it. All right, look at that.
Three kills on Leatherface again. Nice. GG's. No perks, no nothing. He's such a strong character, man. Just, you guys should definitely play him more. He's, he's really fun, very strong, and he's just maneuverability is crazy. Ooh, oh, God, yes. It's been so long since I've played Leatherface. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's get it. I've almost run out of video ideas for Leatherface, like build ideas where they'll be good. So uh, I thought, why not play him and showcase to you how good this character actually is? You don't even need any perks on him for him to be useful. The issue is, obviously, we're going to be very, very loud. Oh, my God. Leland would be dead here if I had perks. <laughs> Never mind, he's dead anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. This I'm literally using max blood harvesting. No savagery, no endurance, just maximum blood harvesting. It's ridiculous. Like, it's not even... I can't even call this a challenge because Leatherface is genuinely one of the best characters in the game. You do not need anything on him to be useful. You can use the most useless perks ever and you still be useful on him. We'll rev our chainsaw here. We'll open the door and we'll rev our chainsaw. We'll pretend to run this way like this. And then we'll come back and get Danny. Boom! Let's go. We won't kill Danny because he's got too much savage, too much toughness. <laughs> Never. <laughs> the lever face is all about rotation. Like, the character himself has so much base movement speed. Like, as long as you're rotating between doors, you should have no issue in killing people. You need to make sure you're keeping up. If you if you realize you can't get someone because they're in a very strong area, don't go for them. It's simple as that. Just don't go for that person. Move on. Don't don't stay in one area too long as Leatherface. You don't want to be doing that. It's a bad idea. So many people have uh, cut down these little changes there. She tried slamming the door on me there. That's kind of... See, this area, I can't actually do anything. She, if she messes up bad, then yes. Hmm, yeah, this is going to be a dead area for us, just here. Oh, come on. This is a dead area, but I'm going to entertain it. I'm going to entertain this, why not? Because I don't know where Leland is at all. Oh, not Leland, uh, Sunny. I don't know where Sunny is, so I'm going to entertain this, why not? Okay. Oh, we might. We almost got her there. We almost got her there. Let's go. Come on, door wars. Come on. Come, 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 slam the door. We want to try door wars. I want to try and get you at the door. <laughs> is she not coming at all here? That's crazy. Okay. Since she's, this is a kind of a pointless, a pointless uh, endeavor down here. So we're just gonna keep rotating, see what doors are open, what doors aren't, and then go up from there. It's always best to leave areas like that because um, you're never going to get her. And I, like I said right at the beginning, I'm never going to get her, but I don't mind entertain, entertaining that. Ooh, okay, we know, the, we know where that person is. We'll go up there and try and help them out. Why not? Yeah, screw it, screw it. Okay, we see, we see, the, little, uh, we see the little symbol. Nice. The cook can't get anywhere from there, but I can go around and inside whilst uh, the cook forces them through, maybe. I don't know where they went. I have no idea where they went. Well, we've got, two, we've got two really quick kills. I mean, we have max blood, so what I'll do, I'll actually destroy these bad boys. Ooh, we see him. There you are. Nice. Let's get these Let's get these areas done so the family can get through these bits. around here. <laughs> oh, my God. That was ruthless. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try and get these guys. I'm sure if the cook comes over this direction, we'll be able to get this Leland or whoever this is, Sonny or someone. I don't know where this Sonny could have gone, but... We'll feed Grampy our blood, why not? They've severely limited their chances of escaping this game because we've uh, we've managed to kill two of them in the basement. <laughs> and they have a cook. Oh, we have a cook, so those padlocks are going to be real rough for them to get past. Right, right, right. <laughs> the smackage. Oh, okay. The one stab a Rooney. There's nothing we can do in the basement unless we have some help down there. She stabbed me and not Grandpa, though. Like, I can just, I can still, wait, come on. I need stamina to feed him. There you go. That was kind of pointless. He should have stabbed Grandpa, to be honest. Hey, sugar. You're doing a mighty fine. <laughs> That's fine. We got double pat on Grandpa. We got to pat him twice for being a very good boy. <laughs> oh, God, man. I don't mind victims playing stealthy, but it feels like the game drags on massively when they don't even attempt to open doors and stuff. Oh, okay. Hello there, Sonny. Hello, Sonny. 
If someone goes into their holding pen, we should kill him here. I can't catch him here, unfortunately. I can frost, though. I can get maybe one. There you go. I got one blood hit on him, I think. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I think the cook might be coming over. I think he heard me revving the bad boy chainsaw. Yeah, there you go. I'll stay this side just in case. He might have seen him and forced him back through. Oh, I see Sonny. I see Sonny. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run and cut him off here. There you go. Nice. I've revved my chainsaw a bit so I don't overheat. Oh, <laughs> there you go. A lot of people make the mistake with Leatherface. Of as soon as they overhead, they immediately go for melee. That'll stall your chainsaw. Hit them, they'll be stunned. Rev your chainsaw a bit and then do a double hit. You'll you'll more than likely be able to hit people twice after you chainsaw with the overhead. So look at that, no perks, man. We get maximum blood from that. Then the boys are genius. We'll go feed grandpa again. <laughs> you don't even need high savagery to kill victims. This character is so overtuned, it really is. And bear in mind, this is on Slaughterhouse as well, right? So, it's ridiculous. This is a very victim-sided map. Ooh, Anna might be out. She's got 1,200 points. Nice. Okay. She may have been in an, an exterior area. Now, that doesn't matter to Leatherface because he can patrol these areas very, very quickly. So, I swear I heard someone there. Always check this door first because then you can look through the window and check that door too. Oh, I saw her downstairs. Nice. If the cook goes downstairs with me, we might be all right. Or Sissy comes downstairs with me, we should be okay. He's scanning her constantly, though, which is nice for me. Okay, this, we know she's in this level face. If we go, she goes back to this area. Oh, here she is. Oh, she messed up there big time. Oh, my God, I messed up there big time. Oh, go on. That's it, that's it, that's it. Go through, go through. I'm going to run around because I know which way she's going to go. Oh, she went over the barricade. That was a really silly mistake. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, that's the second time she just duped me for that. That's fine. Oh, double smackers. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be losing to this, really, but we're going to get her eventually. That's cool. Yeah, there she is. She's crap. There she goes. Oh, she's going that way. That's fine. This Anna's been a basement girl. Like, all in all. Oh, wait, she died, died, look. <laughs> She's dead there for sure. GG, CGs, yeah, bled out, nice. GG's, guys, GG's. Oh, my God, not the teabag, sissy. <laughs> good game, good game. <laughs> the cook! <laughs>